Hey everyone, before we get this video started, a small disclaimer. When recording this video, I was still getting over COVID, and I still am, and the weather was very stormy. This is why my voice is still a little messed up in this video, and the exposure is suffering because of the bad weather. I had to readjust the exposure constantly while editing this video. But it's definitely still worth watching this video, since this game is really beautiful. Alright, roll the intro. everyone, there is the Thakas and today I got something really exciting. Today I will be unboxing Flamecraft because I did back the Deluxe Edition on Kickstarter and it just arrived just, I don't know, 10 minutes ago. Uh, I just set everything up quickly now and so I can give you my unboxing because I want to play it as soon as possible um, and I want to give you the unboxing as soon as possible because this is going to be really exciting, some really exciting stuff here. All right, so um, there are a lot of extra goodies here. Um, I suggest that we take a look at them after we are done with the main game, right? I think that makes the most sense. Let me put that aside. And um, I just, uh, I've set up everything so quickly that I didn't even have time to, um, to remove the shrink wrapping yet, which I will quickly do now. Just give me a second. And there we go. Um, you might have seen it here with the little sticker and also you can see it here at the bottom um, that this is the German language version actually. Um, I think this is a game that I will be able to play with friends because it's really cute. It has a great art style. I think it's not too complex. So um, this is why I got it in German just because then they don't have the language barrier. This also means that I might not be able to play it on the channel. I'm not quite sure. It depends on how language dependent this is if I can kind of if I can still play it um, for your enjoyment I'm not 100% sure yet but let's take a look at the game itself so you can already see it looks wonderful the art style is just incredibly um, incredibly great and really cute here on the sides you see like the different dragons it's one to five players 60 minutes um, and then here you have like all like all the different dragons on the sides of the box which is cool and also if we take a look at the back we can see a little bit about how the game works right we have like all these different cards here we have like the um the the game board in the middle and like really great components um and all these great miniatures um we will take a look at those um oops in just a moment well actually now so let's open this bad boy up um and let's see what we can find so in here nothing special let me put that aside and then here we have well it starts with the rules of course um these are now in german of course but um we can still take a look at the formatting so here we have like all the components um really great art set i just love it it looks great um like all the components it's not that many components actually so actually it's okay um and then we have how you set up the game um done really well because you see here like um, at the bottom you see like all these numbers in different colors and you see like the numbers up here in different colors as well right and um, so it's really easy and quick to see um, what you have to put where and then we have how to play the game right so this is how you do um, this is like these different things you can do um, in your in your during your turn um, yeah it's just all the different different things you can do and um, you see like these are all numbered which is really nice um, although you might not be able to translate it now, but these are all numbered. And like on the, in the little green, green parts here, you can see um, all the different, uh, like different like extra information, which is pretty cool. And here we have now the different thing that is how you can enchant your um, your stores. And that is a different thing. So this why it's not green. Now it's all purple. So because that's a different part of the game. And then here is how the how you end your turn and how the game is ended. Um, and that is all done in red. Um, and then here are um, like the shops. Here are the different um, abilities of the dragons and the shops. So that is all in blue here. Now the church walls are going off again, but my subscribers always say that I should just keep continue shooting because you usually don't hear that. Well, yeah. And then here we have like different dragons as well. Very cool. And here we have like some kind of um, achievements. And here's the solo mode. Wonderful. I hope there's not too much language in the game because I really want to play it on the channel at some point. Great. And some great illustration at the back. So 
really well laid out. I really like what I see here. Great, really well done. Okay, then let's continue. Let's continue with, wow. Can you already see how awesome this looks? So we have like a really great insert here by Game Trace. You know that they always like have like great inserts. So let's take a look at different things. First of all, let's take a look at the game board because, well, it's actually not a board. It's actually a playing mat, which is incredible. Um, might be a little bit louder, but let me just, I could probably just, I can put that here without the, yeah, I could, I could put it in here without the um, packaging, I think. So let me just put that aside just for a minute so we can take a look at the game board. Oh, wow, this is really great. Wow, this is huge. Okay, I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't even be able to fit it on a video because this is only half the playing mat, right? Because take a look at how long that thing is. <laughs> wow, okay, that's pretty crazy. Um, but we have do have that rubber at, on the other side, so it doesn't, yeah, right? Just, just stays flat on the table, so it doesn't move around too much, which is great, and it looks wonderful. It's, oops, it's printed really well. It looks really, really nice. Great. This looks really wonderful. I like that a lot. Um, so let's take a look at the other side here that I haven't shown to you yet. Um, really nice, like a little fountain here. It's like the little city, right? And I think you put like the shops, you put them like here at the bottom at the top where you can see those, right? You can let's just put the shops here, right? So you have like all the shops around this plaza here. This looks wonderful. This is really beautiful. Okay, then let's get the box back here and continue looking at everything. Let me just quickly check the exposure, see if everything is okay there. I think it was a little bit too dark. I think like this is a lot better. Okay, because we actually have really bad weather today. It's stormy and um, very windy and everything. Um, a lot of rain, so the light is really bad today. Okay, so, and now let's take a look at all the other stuff. So you see like, you have like these, um, like the plastic casing on top, so nothing falls out. Let's remove that and take a look at everything that's in here. Oh, there's a lot to unpack. So first of all, we do have like, I think all the different shops. Let's take a look at those. Um, there we go. So, oh, these cards actually feel nice. They're quite thin, but not too thin. And they do have like that very slight linen finish here. Um, let's take a look at, uh, let's take a look at them a little bit close up. So this is how these look like. Um, these are not German, but I mean, that doesn't matter too much, I think. And just look at all these awesome, these really great illustrations here. Great, right? They look incredible. Really, really nice. And there's lots, lots and more, right? So there is, there are some symbols in the top left. Maybe that's the type of good you can sell. Right, I mean, um, there are these um, the tokens that look the same. So these are probably the type of goods you can sell. Here you can probably just get money maybe. I'm not quite sure, so yeah. But these look really, really nice. Wonderful, they look really great. Um, and they have like a lot of, um, they are a lot, lot of, they are like a lot of references here and everything. Um, so for example here, uh, Taba Laguna, there's like this drag called Tabaluga, right? Um, Aragon's Estragon. I mean, we know Aragon, right? The fantasy novel. Um, and Aragon's Estragon. It's, <laughs> it just sounds really funny. There's a lot of... There's some interesting play on words here. Like Air d, &D instead of Airbnb, right? d, &D for Dungeons and Dragons. So there's a lot of funny stuff there. Um, I appreciate some good puns. Um, and here, I think this seems to be like the player reference cards, maybe. Um, let me just take a look quickly and see what that is about. Uh, looks like it, yeah. This for the different dragons. He, um, it says everything you can do. Either you can collect stuff or you can enchant stuff. And then you end your, end your turn by doing that. And you start your turn by doing that. So that is pretty cool. On the other side, uh, on the other, on the other side, we see like the different, um, the different components here. Cool. Very, very cool for all the players. Um, and that's for the solo mode here. Really cool. Um, very cool. Very, very cool. Great. And a few more shops. Nice. Okay. And then um, let's continue with like these cards here. Uh, can I open them now? I probably need my knife again. Where did I put it? 
Uh, I got it over here. So yeah, I just recovered from COVID. So I'm still a little bit under the weather, <clears throat> um, but I think it's okay enough for an unboxing at least, but it will be another few days before I can record more videos on my channel. So and here we have like these different dragons. Let me just show you them uh, close up. Like a lot of these really cool um, little dragons that have like specific abilities here, the way it looks like. Really great artwork. I love this artwork. This is incredible. This is so great. Look at those. Maybe these are the helpers, the assistants. I'm not quite sure. Um, it's possible because there are so many. And then we have, yeah, there are even more cards. Let's take a look at that. Uh, give me a second to also open that up. Ah, come on. Okay, there we go. So yeah, and some other cards as well. I don't know what exactly these do, but these here yeah, like sets of two, it says. So maybe there's some sets you can collect, right? They have like, they're always like three of the same color. Maybe that's something. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, there's even more in the same color. So six in that color. I don't know. Maybe you can somehow some, have some set collection here. I'm not 100% sure. Um, and there is like a lot of room here still, so I guess that you're able to sleeve the cards, but then again, uh, but you wouldn't be able to sleeve those, right? I'm not quite sure. I'll have to check that out in a little bit more uh, detail um, when I like, assemble everything and put everything in here so I can start playing. Um, I will have a chance to play the game tomorrow, multiplayer like uh, with a two two or maybe even three player count. So I hope I will be able to do that. And here we have more of these dragons. Let me show them close up again because we this is such great artwork here. So you can see like how, how cute they look. The artwork is just incredible. This is a really beautiful game. And I mean, the, the, the theme is great, right? Like having like, having like your shops um, selling stuff, um, like with all these cute dragons, I think that is, really really cool all right and then we have like a little bag here dragon made it says really cool it's like really cool cloth it's like very simple but i like it it's like a little bit more rough right this is a bit more rustic rustic kind of feel and i like that it just fits the theme really well like these golden kind of um, bands here we can like um, close that let me just show it to you here so looks really cool as well okay so what else do we have now we have the miniatures that's one of the main draws of the game or one of the main components because there are like these these um meeples here which look really great um if you take a look at them here they look wonderful i really like those but in the deluxe edition um we also have the miniatures so for example for the blue one here take a look that one that looks so great such a great miniature really beautiful and they are all they're all unique right so we have the the red one here um, then we have the green one which has like a different pose again really cute as well and see like a lot, a lot of details as well right like a lot of details let me just lie them down so you can see their poses a little bit better then we have the purple one here, really nice as well, really beautiful. Um, then we have the blue one here, like the dark blue one. Oh, I like this one, I like the, the head, the head of this one, it's a little bit square, I really like that. And then we have the golden one here, really cool, that is great. So um, these miniatures are really, really amazing. Um, what we also have is like these little hearts. Let me just stay on that small camera here, like the close up camera. Let me just uh, move everything up a little bit. We see here like these hearts, like these are all the different dragons, right? These are probably to track points. Whenever you exceed 50 points, you can like turn them around to the 50 uh, point uh, marker to the 50 point side. That's pretty much like you know it in most other games. Let me just stay close up because we also have coins and these coins are really cool because 
these are incredibly heavy and really pretty like golden coins you see like these six dragon heads there right you can see them and on the other side like this kind of uh this kind of tower castle and it says at the bottom flame craft and these are really like hefty they're really thick and really heavy it's like like there are quite a few of those these look really nice and then there's also like a silver coin that looks the same pretty much it's just larger right but otherwise it looks the exact same it's just larger as you can see here so that is really cool as well and there are even more more coins here so really nice and then let me just quickly switch to the other camera you see oh <laughs> i almost took everything out here and then we have the components and um, there are like two trays of the components um they are the same pretty much but you see like this awesome tray here again that you can just open and then you have like all these small components in here this is like the resources i was talking about right that you could see on the cards so for example here this card you see like this diamond right this gem and you see like the gem over there so um these seems to be the resources so let me just um show them to you close up so these look really nice we have like these little um purple potions we have these pieces of meat um then we have the leaves here then we also have like these um these anvils here then the toast the, <laughs> the piece of toast <laughs> which is really funny and then of course the gems here as well really cool and you have like this um this plastic cover here that you can just put on top and then everything stays in its place and nothing falls out that is really cool so and as usual let me peek under the insert but there's probably nothing there no nothing there don't forget to always check under the insert there's often stuff to be found there all right i will put everything back um in just a minute but we will take a look at more stuff because yes we are done with the main stuff but there's a lot of extra stuff here still like a lot of extra goodies because well i went almost all in i think um so there are quite a few things you could get extra there also is like this miniature you could get extra when you back the um i think when you signed up um for the game before so let us take that one out i'm not a collector i'm a player so this is why i will open up everything and show it to you so um this is the fancy dragon because the dragons all have names you can see them at the bottom here again they all have different names and that is the fancy dragon here um and that's something that you could unlock i think um i think you had to do like some riddles during the campaign and then you could unlock that one um so come on there we go and you see like oh that's cute there's everything in here you need right for another player so you have like the miniature let me show that to you close up again so we have that very pretty that's a pretty one um that um that rose or pink miniature and then we also have the um the meeple for that and the heart that we can turn over with the 50 here right so everything is in here it's like an extra set um for another player really beautiful and that's one thing we have then we have even more cards here these are promo cards also in german of course um and these are like um they're like specific promo cards that are wrapped twice i don't know why um so for example here give me a second we have a few shops here i think there's only two or three if i'm not mistaken yes two so we have the flame starter statue here which is pretty cool and then you have the spice tower i mean you can also already see tom basil here right that's um a clear pun on the dice tower um and then here i don't know what that is i have no idea what that is it says arrival starter shops in different languages interesting okay and here even more languages um i don't know what that is and here are more shops as you can see right really cool very nice um like this is all promo stuff that you could get during the campaign i don't know if you can also get it after the campaign when this hits retail i have no idea but i just found this game so charming 
Um, and here, these are art prints. These are just art prints, but they look great as well. I mean, you can see them here on the large camera, but let me show them here on this on the small camera. You can see like these really cool art prints here. And they're pretty thick too, on like thick paper, thick cardstock, so that is really cool. Really beautiful. Very, very nice. So yeah, great. Um, and then just a few more promo things that don't really have to do anything with the game, like with the gameplay itself. Um, so we have like these coasters here. I think there's two in there. Yeah, there we go. Like two, um, two coasters that look really nice. But I mean, I can't, I can't always repeat myself, right? But this is really nice artwork, right? And it doesn't matter which, um, what what we are looking at. This all looks really nice. Here are some stickers. I don't quite know what I'm gonna do with those yet. I'll probably just put them under the insert for now. Um, and then we have like this really great pin of the Fancy Dragon. That's actually that one here, right? That we got as an extra miniature. Um, that's the Fancy Dragon. It's just a different color. Um, it looks a little bit like this one here, actually. Yeah, a little bit. Um, really beautiful pin. Let me show that to you close up again. This looks really nice and it's large. It's really large and beautiful pin. I will most likely put that um, on one of my bags because I actually do have quite a few pins on my bags. And the last thing we have is, which is one thing I was really excited about, is some um, bookmarks here of all the different dragons you can choose as a player, right? They're like double-sided. And these are like all the um, all the dragons for the players. And there's also the, this should be the fancy dragon actually, right? The one with the extra miniature here. So really cool, like these different, you have like these different um, bookmarks here, which is wonderful. I would definitely start using those. These look really, really nice. I can show them to you, close up again, um, so you can admire them completely here. Very, very nice. Yeah, and that is, I think that is pretty much everything we have uh, for the game. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my little unboxing. Give me a second to get back here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my little unboxing, even though it wasn't German, but I mean, it doesn't really matter since we don't need the text for the unboxing. Um, so you can see this looks really beautiful. And um, I think this is not, um, this game is not too heavy. So I should be able to play it with a lot of people, I hope, because it's really pretty. Um, and I will see if I can somehow play on the channel at some point. Well, I hope you enjoyed my little unboxing. If this is the first time I've been to you uh, watching right now, why don't you head over to my channel, check out all my other videos. There are like hundreds there, so there is bound to be something that you will enjoy, I hope. If you enjoyed this video, why don't you let me and the algorithm know by liking and maybe even commenting. If you like my content enough, you can even subscribe. And if you want to speak with me and my little community, you can also join my Discord server because we are having a lot of fun over there. All right, that's all from my side for today. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the very next video. All right, take care everyone and cheers.